Have you ever pondered the existence of UFOs and extraterrestrial life? What if the sky above us buzzes with more than just airplanes and satellites? Today we delve into the enigma of unidentified flying objects, or UFOs, a subject that has sparked intrigue, skepticism, and fascination for centuries. This is a realm where fact and fiction often blur, where everyday objects can become extraordinary under the right conditions, and where the unexplained fuels our wildest imaginations. The story of UFOs dates back further than you might think. In fact, the first known use of the word saucer in association with a UFO occurred in the late 19th century. On January 25, 1878, a local farmer named John Martin reported seeing a large circular dark object about the shape of a saucer speeding across the sky with wonderful speed. So, let's take a journey back in time and explore the history of UFO sightings. The history of UFO sightings is as vast as the universe itself, stretching back centuries. The enigma of the unknown often merges with the tangible, creating tales that both astound and baffle. One such tale is that of the first known crop circle, a peculiar phenomenon that emerged in Queensland, Australia in the year 1965. These intricate patterns, mysteriously imprinted in grain fields, have long stirred the imagination, nourishing UFO myths and adding layers of meaning to these otherwise inexplicable signs. Fast forward to November 1986, when a Japan Airlines cargo plane, while flying over the vast expanse of Alaska, reported an unusual sighting. The pilot, Kenji Tarauchi, claimed to have seen not one, but three unidentified objects. Two of them were lights, each no more than eight feet across, along with a third, larger light. Such incidents, while intriguing, only added fuel to the growing belief in extraterrestrial life. A year earlier, on December 9, 1965, reports streamed in from several states of a fireball streaking across the sky, leaving behind a trail of metallic debris. The most striking account came from Kecksburg, Pennsylvania, where eyewitnesses claimed to have seen a large acorn-shaped object making a landing. Despite a subsequent army investigation, no evidence of this strange object was ever found. These early sightings and the myths they've spawned have woven a rich tapestry of intrigue and speculation, captivating our collective imagination. While these accounts are indeed fascinating, they are not always what they seem. The reality, as we'll explore, is that not all UFO sightings are unexplainable. Many can be attributed to misidentified objects or natural phenomena, but that doesn't make the quest for understanding any less thrilling. After all, we are creatures of curiosity, forever drawn to the mysteries of the universe. Interestingly, not all that glitters in the sky is a UFO. More often than not, what we perceive to be unexplained, mysterious objects are simply misidentified elements of our natural world or man-made creations. This includes things as varied as aircraft, balloons, unusual cloud formations like noctilucent and nacreous clouds, and even meteors. Sometimes the culprits behind these sightings are even more terrestrial, being nothing more than elaborate hoaxes. Studies reveal an interesting picture about the reality of these sightings. A significant majority of the reports, between 80 and 95 percent, can be explained away as the misidentification of commonplace objects or natural phenomena. However, this doesn't provide a complete answer to the enigma of UFOs. There are still those sightings, those 5 to 20 percent of reports, that defy explanation. These are the sightings that continue to ignite our curiosity, fuel our imaginations and yes, sometimes even give us a bit of a fright. But there are still those unexplained sightings that continue to baffle us. It's not just the public that's intrigued by UFOs. Governments worldwide have shown interest too. From the dusty archives of history, a fascinating piece of information emerges. According to records released in the summer of 2010, during the throes of World War II, an alleged UFO incident involving an RAF plane was suppressed by none other than British Prime Minister Winston Churchill. The reason? He feared it would incite mass panic. It's said that he made these orders during a clandestine meeting with General Dwight Eisenhower. Across the pond, in the land of the brave and home of the free, U.S. agencies have been quite active in the UFO scene. A mountain of documents, released under the Freedom of Information Act, reveal that information on UFOs has been and continues to be collected by a plethora of agencies. These include the Defense Intelligence Agency, the FBI, the CIA, and the NSA, as well as military agencies of the Army, Navy, and Air Force. 
It's a web of intrigue and secrecy that stretches across decades and continents, with governments around the world seemingly as engrossed in the UFO phenomenon as the general public. The reasons for this interest can only be speculated upon. Are they merely seeking to protect their citizens from potential threats, or is there more to the story? Could it be that they are seeking to harness the advanced technology these unidentified objects supposedly possess? Regardless of the motivations, one thing is clear. The government's involvement in UFO phenomena is not a recent development. It's a tale as old as the UFO phenomenon itself, woven into the fabric of our history. So, while we're left to ponder on the unexplained sightings and the elusive truth behind them, one thing is certain. The interest in UFOs extends far beyond curious onlookers and conspiracy theorists. It reaches into the highest echelons of power, sparking intrigue and raising questions that remain unanswered. So the question remains, are we alone in the universe? The belief in UFOs and extraterrestrial life has permeated more than just our skies. It's influenced our culture and even our religions. This has led to the creation of what are known as UFO religions, faiths based on the existence of extraterrestrial entities. The Etheria Society, for instance, believes in advanced spiritual beings living on other planets. Scientology, another well-known example, is founded on the teachings of science fiction writer L. Ron Hubbard, who claimed insights about alien civilizations. Beyond religion, the influence of UFOs extends to popular culture. A striking example harkens back to the late 1930s, when Orson Welles' radio show, The War of the Worlds, had people genuinely believing that America was under an alien invasion. The show's realistic portrayal of a Martian attack illustrates the deep-seated fascination, and sometimes fear, of the unknown that exists within us. Whether you're a believer or a skeptic, the topic of UFOs and extraterrestrial life continues to captivate us, inviting us to look up and wonder, what if?